Hey Communications High School, welcome to the October episode of Inc. TV. I'm your host, Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm John Slovak. And for this episode, we'll take you through all the events at CHS in late September into October. That's right, and it was quite a busy month for CHS, so let's get into it. The annual Back to School Dance took place on Friday, September 23rd, inspired by the movie Footloose. This year, the dance was hosted by the class of 2017. Nada Felicia Ashutino for more details. The dance began at 6.30 and ended promptly at 9, said senior class member Sarah Lang. The Footloose theme originated from class advisor Virginia Clevenger, who also helped with running the event. The class of 2017 was responsible for decorations, food, and ticket sales, which began on Monday, September 19th. Seniors Carly Nolan and Kevin Dixon DJed the event. All the proceeds made from the dance went towards the class account for events in the future. Clevenger said that by the end of the night, the class of 2017 had met their goal of fundraising. For ETV, I'm Felicia. Now back to Izzy and John in the studio. Thanks, Felicia. During the week of October 3rd, students participated in the Week of Respect, a week dedicated to showing awareness to kind deeds and thoughtful actions. Dylan Josephson has all the information on this year's Week of Respect. This week has been in place since CHS was established in 2000. As far as participation, teachers give lessons regarding kindness and compassion, as well as promoting anti-bullying. Although the Week of Respect is mandated by the Department of Education, students and teachers believe that this week would go on even if it was not a requirement. Students do not think much about this week and try to act respectfully each and every day. Guidance counselor Carol Caruso said, because of culture, it is what we do anyway. We asked a student about their experiences with the Week of Respect. I saw someone, like, when someone was really struggling with their schoolwork, I saw them help them out. And like, it really meant a lot because they didn't ask for it. For Inc. TV, I'm Dylan. Now back to Izzy and John in the studio. Thank you, Dylan. Due to low student attendance, the freshman class council and their class advisors, Katie Diver and Emily Creelan, had to cancel the class of 2020 movie night, which was originally planned for October 7th. Let's find out more from Marie Schobel. When the minimum amount of student sign-ups needed to hold the event was not reached by October 6th, it was decided to cancel the movie night. In order to hold an event after school, there must be a minimum of 50 people in attendance. The planned movie was Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now to freshman class president Emily Madeira for her opinion on the cancellation. Well, I'm definitely disappointed since it was our first fundraiser, but I don't think it should hold us back or disappoint us more because it's kind of like a lesson that we really do need to push harder with all of our fundraisers and we need to make sure that we have to be able to follow through with them. For Inc. TV, I'm Marie Schobel. Now back to Izzy and John in the studio. Info sessions took place throughout the month of October. Both teachers and students attended to represent CHS. However, info had a different structure from previous years. Now to Kate Redu for more details on the new and improved info sessions. Potential members of the class of 2021 filled the halls on October 8th, 22nd, and 27th to learn more about CHS. In past years, new students and their families were taken on through tours of the building, while current students gave short presentations in each classroom. This year, the tours were brief and lasted for about 15 minutes. Instead of presentations, students served as tour guides and answered questions along the way. The next and final info session will take place on November 16th. Now to junior Jackie Geller for her opinion on the new format. Um, the info session this year is more of like a college structure, so you just like walk around and you get a feel for the whole school, and I like it a lot because what if a student isn't really crazy about science? They don't have to sit through a whole science lecture. They can just walk around, see a lab, see some Spanish class, see some English classes, and most families tend to enjoy it. For Ring TV, I'm Kate Redu. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Kate. During the week of October 17th through the 21st, School Violence Awareness Week took place in schools all across New Jersey. Here are the details on School Violence Awareness Week right here at CHS. School Violence Awareness Week is planned in relation to the Week of Respect and is intended to educate students about methods to prevent violence and bullying. According to the state of New Jersey, there was 18,332 reported cases of bullying last year. But at CHS, there have been no reports of bullying the past school year. CHS did not partake in school-wide events, but activities took place within individual classrooms. Now to Guidance Counselor Carol Caruso for her thoughts. The way we can overcome violence is to promote kindness in a community such as a school community. And because our students are the future of this country, I believe building tolerance is important and programs like um, School Violence Awareness Week can support the um, support us in building following communities. For Inc. TV, I'm Bridget Garrett. Now back to the studio. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors took the PSAT on Wednesday, October 19th. 
According to the College Board, the PSAT helps students access scholarships, prepare for the SAT, and find AP courses that they could do well in. Here's Shannon Damiano with the story. The PSAT changed this year to reflect new changes in the SAT, but CHS students, newcomers, and veterans alike took the updates in stride. You would have like reading comprehension, like, and like the stories were literally about nothing, and you had to answer these questions that were just so ridiculous that you would never be able to get in a million years. For ATV, I'm Shannon Damiano. Now back to Jonathan and Izzy in the studio. Thank you, Shannon. In accordance with the 2016 presidential election, Andy Mulshine hosted a mock presidential debate and election. Students volunteered to portray one of the five presidential candidates and faced off in a debate moderated by Julia Party and Sarah Lynch on Friday, October 21st. Let's go to Courtney Kushner for more. The CHS mock election gave students the chance to get involved in this political season by joining and organizing campaigns, participating in a mock debate, and eventually voting for the candidate of their choice. Like I said in my first response, I will be a true Tenth Amendment president. Nowhere in the Constitution is the federal government given the right to regulate the environment. I'm looking into the crowd right now, and I see so many black people, and they all agree with me. They all agree with me. I also believe in vouchers, um, which can uh, uh, move someone who is not happy with their school or their school district. For TV, I'm Courtney Kushner. Now back to Izzy and John in the studio. Thank you, Courtney. The mock election took place on Tuesday, October 25th, with Matt Miller as Hillary Clinton coming out on top. Audrey Mannion walked the halls of CHS to find out who the student body supports in the actual presidential election. I'm Audrey Mannion, and I took to the halls of CHS to ask students who they support in the upcoming 2016 election. I would vote for Hillary Clinton because even though she does have many flaws, I do believe she has the political experience, and I do believe that she will be able to make some good choices that might benefit our country. I would vote for Trump because we need to expose the corruption that lays in our government. I would vote for Hillary Clinton because I think she's very educated and she knows what she's doing. I would vote for Donald Trump because I believe that Hillary Clinton is, um, has violated the law. I'd vote for Hillary Clinton because even if you don't like her, I don't know how you could vote for Donald Trump with some of the sexist things. I would vote for Donald Trump mostly because I agree with his political views and his, uh, where he stands on certain issues more than um, his opponent. Who I support in this election is definitely Hillary Clinton because um, one, I don't want Donald Trump to win the election, but two, I also identify as a Democrat, and even though I feel that Hillary Clinton isn't the best option for Democrats, I still believe in most of the things that she believes in, and it would be cool to have a woman in the president. So. Signing off for TV, I'm Audrey Mannion. All right, Audrey, thank you. The class of 2017 hosted the annual 3v3 basketball tournament in the Wall High School gym on Tuesday, October 25th. Nine teams of students competed in a bracket-style tournament to see who would be this year's winner. Let's go to Audrey Manning again for more information. The tournament started at 6 p.m. with teams arriving in the Wall High School gym. At the end of the tournament, seniors Kevin Meaver, Justin Bull, and Annie Ruoff of the Light Blue team won the event. Fitness teacher and senior advisor Mrs. Clevenger has been in charge of organizing a basketball event for students since 2004. Senior Carly Nolan was in charge this year of helping Clevenger organize the brackets that teams would compete in. All proceeds from the event will go towards the senior class funds. We asked Annie Ruoff of the Light Blue team that won the tournament how they felt about competing. Me and my team have been together since freshman year, so it was something that we've been working hard for ever since we were together, and um, we were very, very determined to win this year, so it felt great when we did. For Ink TV, I'm Audrey. Now back to Izzy and John in the studio. Thanks, Audrey. On Friday, October 28th, the annual Halloween dance took place, featuring a spooky Halloween theme. This year, the members of Skills USA hosted the event. We have Veronica Yaron in the field for more on this year's dance. The dance began at 6.30 and ended at 9, leaving plenty of time for CHS students to arrive in their best Halloween costumes. The decorations included posters of teachers and was open for students of all grades. This event could not have been possible without the members of Skills USA who managed ticket sales, decorations, and food. Seniors Kevin Dixon and Carly Nolan DJed the event. All the proceeds made from the dance went towards the clubs for future expenses. The dance was filled with laughter and fun and raised money for Skills USA. We asked Skills USA member Emma Walenta about the outcome of the dance. We had a lot of participation from the club and we made $620. And all that money is going to go to our dues and our, uh, our state scholarships. So I'm really excited about it. For Ink TV, this is Veronica Yarn. Now back to Izzy and John in the studio. Thanks, Veronica. That covers CHS events for October. We'll see you in November as we cover Spirit Week, the newest drama club endeavor, and midterms. For Inc. TV, I'm John Slovak. And I'm Izzy Cavazzoni. Have a great day.